Doug Ford made his final rounds around Ottawa on Saturday. The Ontario PC leader started the day off at Lisa McLeod's campaign office in Barhaven in front of a packed house of more than 300 supporters who turned out for a free pancake breakfast. While walking off of his campaign bus to a song chanting, We the People, Ford was greeted by his former leadership rivals Christine Elliott and Caroline Mulrooney, who followed Ford around the capital, including stops in Barnhaven, Manatick, and Nepean. Inside the campaign office, formerly Johnny Canuck's Bar and Grill, Ford shared his platform with supporters and said he will help put money back into their pockets. Friends, I'll tell you about the BC plan, a plan that's for the people, a plan to put money back into your pocket instead of the government's pocket, a plan to reduce your hydro rates by 12%, a plan to make sure that we put money into your pocket when we reduce your taxes by 20%. In the afternoon, Ford held a roundtable discussion with Mulroney and Elliott by his side, as well as a handful of progressive conservative candidates from Eastern Ontario. He used the opportunity to bash the NDP government and said Ontario NDP leader Andrea Horvath enforces candidates who are radical activists. But even worse than the Liberals, 10 times worse, are the NDP a team of radical special interests with candidates who use profanity and racial slurs to target our police officers, candidates who are dedicated to shutting down our minds and forcing workers out of a job, candidates who accuse our heroes in, in the military of being war criminals, radical activists who have been arrested for sabotage. Ford also took the opportunity to bash Joel Harden, the NDP candidate for Ottawa Centre, who he says would like to see a 35 cent tax on every litre of gas. Ottawa Centre is one riding in Ottawa that has a good chance of turning orange come June 7th. Also among those at the roundtable discussion was Nepean Conservative candidate Lisa McLeod. When Ford was asked about gaining support in Ottawa, he gave the question to McLeod to answer, the only Conservative MPP in Ottawa. It's been lonely for the past 12 years in the city. <laughs> uh, but as you can see around this table, uh, we are going to send a number of progressive conservatives uh, to Queen's Park. McLeod then rhymed off candidate names from local riding she feels will turn blue in this election, including Mary Lee Fullerton in Canada, Cameron Montgomery in Orleans, and Goldie Gamari in Carleton, an area McLeod has represented for the past 12 years until it was split away for this election. People in Carleton are looking forward to sending another progressive conservative to Queen's Park to build on, on the work that I've done there in the past 12 years and, and John Baird the 10 years previous to that. So Ford's last stop in Ottawa Saturday evening was a rally at the Centurion Conference and Events Centre where more than 500 people attended. When Ford was asked earlier on in the day about Premier Kathleen Wynne admitting she would not win the election, he just said the progressive conservatives are focused. Charlie C. Nacky, WIN News, Ottawa.